Hey everybody, this is Mike from FreshBrief.com and today I'm going to be talking about how money is a good indicator of your friendship. Now in this I'm going to be giving examples of situations that happened to me in the past and really how if you borrow or take somebody or borrow somebody's money or some, you borrow money to somebody, it can be a good indicator of how good the friendship is. Now a lot of people say, they say, do not mix friendship with money. Now this it should never be a problem. You know, money and friendship, it should be never be a problem. The problem occurs with people. It's like we say, it's like guns aren't a problem, people are. You know, it's like, it's the people behind it. So I have three examples of three, not examples, three real life situations that have happened to me. I would name names, people that watch this will know who they are. So the reason why I say money doesn't matter when in, in the relationship with people is because it's the attitude of the person and how much that that person matters to the other person. So let's say I, I borrow you money and your main task is giving you back money. That right there is showing your friendship. But if you're kind of like, oh, whatever, I don't care, you know, it just shows how much commitment you have to our friendship. You know, so I'll give you three examples and two of these people I'm no longer I'm no longer really friends with. So the first example was me and my friend, we, well, old friend, I call him like my best friend. For, for, we talked like 10, 11 years. So I've still been a friend with him while I'm in Thailand and he's in England. You know, we, we're talking every so often, you know, but when I go back, you know, boom, we, we love it. It's cool. It's cool time. So we decided to go to um, Amsterdam. And he doesn't have the money at the time. And I said, no problem, mate, you know, I'll put up the money. It was like four or 450 pounds, you know, for the flight tickets. Because uh, it would take a short weekend. I was like, no way, mate, you know, just pay me back when you, uh, when, when you get the money, you know, before we go. Because he said, I asked him, okay, will you have the money before we go, you know, so you could just give me the money back. Because when I go and stamp, I won't have any money, I'll rely on you. So what happens is, is if we go to the airport, and I'm like, mate, you know, uh, have you got my half of the money? You know, the, the my you know, and he's like, oh no, I haven't. I'm sorry, mate. He's like, and then he he's like looking, he goes to the ATM. He well, actually, first to get to the airport, and I don't say anything. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna rely on my friend to actually remember this because it's like, you know, if, if this would be something important that we agreed on. So we get to the airport, and I have to actually encourage him and say, come on, you know, mate, I haven't got any money. You know, I purposely didn't take one. I said, mate, if you don't give me the money, I'm going to have to cancel the tickets and I'm just going to go home. So he grudgingly, he takes out, I think it's like 300 euros from the ATM and gives me 100 euros. It's like, oh, I think it was 80 euros. I was like, huh? So you give me less amount of money. He's like, just give me the whole amount of money. So yeah, that was the, kind of like the first thing. And then when we got to Amsterdam, you know, it's like, okay, no problem, you know, I'll book the hotel. You know, I'll book the hotel, my, my, uh, I had like a go-to or something, I booked it. So and we go off there and I said, no, you know, you just pay half the room. And then, you know, he's waiting for his girlfriend to send money, some extra money. And it's like, okay, he send, he, I get some more money back, you know. I'm like, okay, you know, this is no worries. I don't think much about it because at the same time, he hasn't got much money. But... Then we go down, then we have a good time, it's all good, you know, and then we get back to England. You know, we fly, we get back to England, and we get back to my house. And his girlfriend, because of the, pl the plane was late, we had to pay extra in the parking fees. So his girlfriend comes out, like, when we get there, she says, oh, you know, Michael, can you, can you pay for the parking fee? I was like, huh? You know, like, and my friend, he didn't pipe up, he didn't say anything to his girlfriend. And for me, that was like okay, what's going on here, you know, like, you still owe me about 80 euros, you know, and the thing is to me, it's not the money, it's the principle behind it, it's like, if you're really my best friend, you would have said to your girlfriend, you know, no worries, you know, I still owe Michael money, I'm gonna, you know, take it out of my, but I, I just said to your girlfriend, I was like, you know, I don't pay you nothing, you know, Dan, uh, my friend, he still owes me money, sorry, I said I, my friend still owes me money, and you know I'm not gonna pay. So afterwards, I was like, you know, I'm I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna see. And nothing really happened in that situation, you know. So then, boom! I just got. I kept him as a friend. But then it's like after a while, I was like, you know what? He didn't even attempt to pay it back. So it's like, boom, boom. 
Okay, the second the second situation, another friend. You know, the third the third one is the the example of the friend who actually, you know, I'm still friends with. So the second example is. My friend, he came from Thailand and he didn't have any money for the equipment or staying anywhere. So I was like, you know what? No problem. You know, just stay at my place, you know. And then when he was leaving, he said, oh, you know, you got some great equipment here. Can I, can I have it? I'll pay you back when I'm in. I was like, yeah, no problem. So while he was here, you know, like I let him stay for free. You know, I let him do whatever, you know, it was okay. And normally my electric bill was around, I'd say like 500 baht. But in the 10 days he was here, at the end of the month he was 2,000 baht, so my electric bill I went five times. So normally I don't mind, but at the same time it's like, I, I hadn't, I've i been staying with like a girl, so it was like, I, I said to him, I was like, come on, you know, just, I don't normally ask friends, but it's like, you made my bill five times, you know, just be nice and pay something to it. He didn't really, want, he didn't really pay, but you know, it's like, you, you, you might put me in a bad light for this, because I'm asking my friends to pay, but at the same time it's like, You've actually used five times, you know, if it'd been like twice, it would have been, okay, whatever, but five times the amount, it's like, you know, some of this is towards you. So then it was like, okay, and then, so he borrowed, he actually, with the equipment as well, he actually took about 60 pounds worth of equipment, and I said, you know, no problem, just pay me back when you can. Now, the one thing in this situation was, it's like, I don't mind if it takes you a year, two years to pay me back, but it's just making the effort of paying me back. So, it'd been about, seven months into paid, you know, we struggling money, I was, I didn't care one bit. But what it came down to is I actually saw on Facebook that he was actually starting to spend money, going out for nights out, he was paying a restaurant, so I was like, hold on a second. So you're going out to these, to all these places and you're not even considering, like, paying me back a little bit, you know, I don't mind, like, 60 pounds, pay me back six pounds a month. Just make a conscious effort towards this. You know, so that is just another situation. You know, as you can see, you might be like, okay, you know, it's friendship, it's like this. No, but if these people actually really valued my friendship, they would have made a conscious effort and still this second person here owes me £30 to this day. It's not the money, it's the principle and the people behind it thinking, oh yeah, it doesn't matter. It's like, really, does my, does my friendship not matter to you that much? You know, so that's the second person I've kind of chucked out of my life, you know, because it's like, if you do not value me enough to actually pay me back the money you owe me. It's like, what else do you not value about me? You know, it's, I look at this as a bigger picture. I don't look at this as small thing. If you can't value this small commitment, it's a, it's not as money, it's a commitment. If you can't value me to a commitment, it's like, what else are you not going to commit me to? You know, I can't really trust you in the future. I can't do this thing, you know. It, it's just to the whole value, the whole thing. So I'll give you a third example. This this person, I'm still friends with this guy. You know, fantastic guy, really good friend. All right, so this, this friend. So the, there's actually two situations with this guy. So my friend, he had a huge accident, you know, bad accident. Uh, but a, a car hit the back of him. He was put in hospital, his spleen, he had to take his spleen out, everything. And he needed, I think it was like 150,000 baht. So I said to my friend, you know, he got like, I think it was 100,000 baht from his friends back in his home country. And me and I, I was the first one, I was like, you know, guys, come on, let's round up some money. I can take 10,000, bump, send it to him, get his hospital pays, bills paid for. You know, it's the minimum I could have done for him as a, as a friend. Or everyone, we, or all our group of friends, we went round, boom, we, we sent him the money. We're like, here you go, mate, here's the money. You know, and the guy, was poor, he's poor as hell, you know, he was really trying to get this money, he was trying to get lawyers money, you know, so the first thing, first people he paid back was the people in his home country because they were causing him problems, so I was like, okay, no worries, and he paid his other friends and then he paid me, I was like, you know what, no worries, you know, he paid me in increments, he got the money back, and then he had another situation where I needed to borrow some money, he came to me and I said, I need like 8,000 back, and I was like, you know, no worries, boom, there's the money. Now, for about six, seven, I think it was about a year, he hadn't paid me the money, but the one thing that I'd seen about him is he generally didn't have the money. You know, he was struggling to pay the money back. So for me, it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be a predator on this guy. I'm not gonna be an asshole because money, money is only money. You need, you can make it, you can make money again, but it's the commitment of paying. So recently he's started to get himself back on his feet and he just sent me 2,000 back, you know, he still owes me 6,000 but I don't really care, I'm like, mate, just pay me when you can. 
And the thing is, he paid me that 2000 back, but what that shows me about our friendship is he showed commitment to the effort to pay me back. You know, he's like, even though I don't mention it, he's like, you know, Michael, I'm, I'm trying to pay you back, but I just, I need time. I'm like, you know, you know what, don't worry about it, mate. You know, just show a conscious, conscious effort to pay me the money back, you know, and I don't care. You know, so that is the one thing, the one thing I'm trying to get out of this message, this whole video is if you value somebody's friendship and you make a commitment to doing something and they help you out in a certain way, you know, make that serious commitment to basically put aside, put your side of the bargain there. So what I mean by the bargain is my side of the bargain is to give you this money, give you this help, whatever it is. And if there's an agreement, like my side of the agreement is to give you money and your side of the agreement is to pay me back. You know, if you value somebody's, if you value somebody, you should actually, how can we put it? You should actually show your side of this commitment, this side of the agreement, because at the end of the day, a lot of people think, okay, it's about money. It's never about the money, about paying the money back. It's it's about the bigger thing about it is the commitment of that other party because if that other party does not make a commitment to their side of the deal that is when the problems happen do you understand so if you take my three consideration three argue, three uh situations three uh histories whatever you want to call them uh three examples into consideration to the people they did not commit the third person it's like he's still committed, you know, he's still making a conscious effort when he can. And that's the one thing that's important is this third person is making a conscious effort to his side of the the deal, the bargain, the commitment. And that is the reason why I still value this person as a friend and I will be a friend for the, with this person for the rest of my life. Because he values my friendship as I value him, his friendship. You know, it's one of the things like if you don't value someone's friendship, you're not going to show commitment or resistance or commitment or going full force into it. You know, so, you know, some people might not agree with me. If you don't, you know, tell me in the comments what your thoughts are. If you do, tell me in the comments, you know, because I really think this is an important subject within our friendship, you know, because if you're not fully committed to somebody within a friendship, you know, it's one of the things where the friendship just can't work. You know, like when you say you're not fully committed, like sometimes I have friendships which I don't speak to my friends for a while, but when we meet up, boom, we're good friends, you know, like we're friends long term, you know. So one of the things you don't need to speak to your friend all the time, but if you have the committedness of each other and you help each other out, you know, I help you out here, you help me out here, it's like, boom, it's a good friendship. So yeah, I've, I've rubbed on a bit too long, but this is just my point of view on how money works within friendship. It's not about the money, it's about the people. All right, so if you like this, and you wanna hear more from me about this kind of stuff, you know what I'm gonna say, subscribe! Or like my page or whatever it is, Fresh Belief, uh, facebook.com forward slash Fresh Belief or visit Fresh All right, this is all for now. All right, catch you, bye.